Uh, my my job title is technician for uh, PP37 Red Bull Air Race, and um, this winter what we did was really basically take the airplane apart and start from scratch. So we sanded the wing down, got all the old paint off, two layers of paint, um, kind of brought it back to new condition, looked at the internal workings of the wing just to be sure that everything was safe. Um, new belly pans, new turtle deck, new instrument panel. Uh, up front on the uh, engine side of things, we made a new uh, uh, pleno, new baffle seal, uh, wing root fairing. So really what we did with this airplane is start over. Uh, made it our airplane. And, uh, and we're going to continue to do that, continue to work on that process. We've got plans for a new cowling. Uh, we're going to work on actually fairing the wing into the fuselage to make it faster, uh, wheel pants. So we have a lot of work coming up. We've done a lot of work. Um, now it's time to do a little flying, a little bit of racing with Peter, get him used to the airplane, and then speed it up even more. Uh, do you have like telemetry or after action data? We do. Which you we do. Yeah, yeah. Um, after each uh, uh, event on the track, what we'll do is we'll come back, we'll download engine data, we'll download telemetry, um, and, and plot Peter's course so he can get the fastest line on the course. Uh, and then we sweeten up the engine a little bit, maybe by running different temperatures and different power settings, uh, just so we can get the best performance on the track that we can. Uh, so could you uh, elaborate more on the uh, limits that Red Bull Air Race uh, imposes to the things you can do? Um, you know, what they're, what they're looking for is to keep us from doing these really radical modifications that, you know, we don't want to be on the track uh, hoping that something works. Um, Red Bull puts uh, limits on us so that we know it's going to work, we know it's going to be safe, because safety is our main concern. Um, so they really try and control us on just not making it this radical, wild, let's go crazy with this airplane. Um, what, we're, what we're trying to produce here is a, a really safe, fast product. And also you have to keep in mind the manufacturer's uh, limits as well. Exactly, exactly. Um, you, you know, you can modify these airplanes and make them as fast as you can make them, but now what you have to remember is we're on a track, and that track is very small. So if you have a very fast airplane on a very small track, you have a lot of energy. Now that energy converts to G-force in a turn. So managing your speed in G's gets really, really critical because as you see, as you saw yesterday, the track is really, really fast. The turns are really, really tight. So it's very, very easy to over G. So really that's what we have to manage today. It's not easy having an average G of six during the entire no, course. No, 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 no. What we want to do is, is our max G is 10 G's, so we want to bring it up right up to 10 G's. And um, getting the airplane, the pilot, the engine all dialed in to do that, it's, it's a trick. And uh, it takes a lot of practice. Excellent. Thanks very much for yeah. the interview. And wish you all the best. You bet. Thank you. We'll see you on the track.